Hello everyone and welcome to a nice label video on introduction to the dynamic data manager. In this video, we're going to learn how to connect a database such as access to our label and then use the dynamic data manager to manage some of those data pieces coming in. We did Excel in a previous video, so I'm going to click on our access button here. And much like before, we get the step-by-step -step wizard coming up. I'm going to click next and now I'm actually going to browse for my Excel file, which is our articles database here. And if we had a username and password, I could click test connection and it would show me that the connection is successful. I'm going to click next. And now here we have all of our fields that we have coming in from the database. I'm going to remove the length and the structure three. So now we just have the code from article structure one and two width care and barcode. I'm going to click next. And instead of, uh, I'm going to have also the static number of labels printed per record, which is one. I'm going to click next and I'm going to actually have nice label create a label text text object for all of these records. Now I'm going to click next. Now, much like in the last video we saw, we could do some uh, data viewing and filtering. We're actually going to filter our data by actually enabling this filter. And I'm going to add a condition where if the article is blank or is not blank, which meaning not no, it's actually going to bring those records in. So now I'm going to click finish. And here we have all of our text objects coming from the database. Now what we really want to look at is the dynamic data manager. So now we can click dynamic data manager. And here we can actually see what we want to do as far as editing our database. I can click on articles here and here is where I can actually go back in and change my filter. If I want, I can do some more sorting. I can change my data retrieving such as the show record at print time and even the number of copies. SQL users may be familiar with this screen and can actually do more structured SQL queries. And here's where we actually see the data. Now you may have noticed that by applying that filter, we lost one of the records because it had a blank article field. So I put on that filter, if that article, if anything was not known in the article, it would show. So now what we can also do is we can take a look at our actual fields here and choose if we want to limit the field length. If there's such as an unnecessary data coming in, we can actually limit it to a certain amount of characters. It's very easy in the dynamic data manager to actually add new functions, new variables, and even add new database connections to our currently pre-existing database connection. So we can do all of our database management from one screen rather than having to go into each single database and actually manage it. So I'm going to click database connections and I'm going to click Microsoft Excel. I'm going to browse for my Excel file and I'm going to click open. Now I'm going to click OK. And as here you can see I can add my table and now I've added a second table with all the fields in one single click without having to go through and browse for it and do all sorts of editing. So now when I click OK. I still have all of my text here from the actual access database, but I can add them from the pasta database. Now when I go to file, we can now see in our print, we still have our articles tab here because we haven't actually defined it. So we can choose to bring different databases in and show different fields at print time. And even if we have them on uh, the label. So I'm going to put this pasta product here. And now when I go to file, now here we have articles and pasta. So now I can choose two different sets of records to print on the label from two separate databases just by using a dynamic data manager. So in summation, in this video, we learned how to connect to the dynamic data manager. We learned how to add different databases as far as Excel and access all from one click of a button and manage that data by doing some filtering right inside the program. Thank you for tuning into this video on dynamic data manager in nice label.